Welcome to University Housing. My name is Taylor Lawson, and I am one of the Assistant Housing Operations Coordinators at the University of Texas at Dallas. Today, we're gonna to walk through some important aspects of university housing and provide information that will be useful to you as you prepare to live on campus. If you need to contact University Housing, you may do so by phone at 972-883-7430 or by email at housing at utdallas.edu. When emailing University Housing, please email from your UT Dallas email address. You may also visit our website at housing.utdallas.edu to find additional information. Due to the evolving nature of events surrounding the COVID-19 pandemic, housing dates are subject to change. Dates and deadlines provided in this presentation are based upon historical data and the most current available information. If dates need to be amended, students will be notified via their UT Dallas email account. First, we are going to talk about the application process for university housing. A completed application consists of paying the $100 administrative fee, submitting the online application, and signing the housing agreement. Some students may need a proxy agreement in order to complete their application. Students who will be under the age of 18 by August 15th, 2021 will be required to designate a proxy in the housing application in order to have their housing agreement finalized. The student will need to enter the name, email address, and relationship of the proxy. The proxy designation will expire 48 hours after it is submitted. It is important to make sure you enter an active email address for your proxy, as they will be emailed a link to access the agreement to sign. The proxy will need to enter the name, email, and relationship information exactly as the student entered it on the housing application in order to sign. Once the proxy has successfully signed the agreement, an email will be sent to the student's UT Dallas email to verify the agreement has been completed. If the proxy has expired, students can log back into their housing application and reset the expiration. Housing assignments are made based on a variety of factors. The priority order in which a housing assignment is made is as follows. Number one, living learning community, also known as LLC. If a student has been accepted into an LLC, the LLC designation will take priority over all other choices, such as honors housing or roommate requests. Number two, honors housing. If a student is a member of an eligible honors housing program, they will automatically be placed in honors housing, assuming they were not accepted into an LLC. If the student has roommate requests, we can only place those students together in honors housing if both students are also in honors housing. Please note that McDermott and Terry Scholars are placed with other students in their respective honors program. Number three, requested roommates. If a student is a member of a roommate group, we will do our best to assign them together. Roommate requests are never guaranteed. If we cannot accommodate your roommate group, you will be assigned based on the best possible matches to your answers to the profile questions in the housing application. Number four, no roommate requests. If a student is not a member of an LLC, honors program, or a roommate group, they will be assigned to the best possible matches to their answers of the priority questions in the housing application. There are a few reasons why you may not be placed with your desired roommates or roommate group, including number one, special group acceptance, such as honors or living learning communities. Number two, gender inclusive housing selections do not match. Or number three, space availability. If a student is assigned to housing, they will receive an official housing assignment in July. This will include the building, suite, and bedroom that has been assigned, as well as contact information for their assigned roommates. Please note that this timeline is subject to change. If housing is full and a waiting list has been established, students on the waiting list will be notified as quickly as possible via UT Dallas email. 
If a student is assigned to housing, information regarding their move-in will be sent to their UT Dallas email account in July. Please note that this timeline is also subject to change. Housing charges for the fall semester are typically added to student accounts in early July. Charges for the spring semester are typically added to student accounts in early December. Payment deadlines and payment plan information can be found on the Bursar office website. Next, we are going to talk about living learning communities, which are also known as LLCs. LLCs are groups of students who share academic goals and interests. LLC members live in designated residence halls, enroll in community-specific courses together, and participate in group activities designed to enhance learning. LLC students typically develop peer relationships more quickly, enjoy increased faculty interaction outside of the classroom, and maintain higher GPAs. First-year students must select the Living Learning Community option on their housing application to apply. Participation in LLCs is limited, and communities are filled on a first-come, first-served basis. Nine LLCs are offered for fall 2021, including Arts and Humanities, ATEC, Biomedical Engineering, Computer Science, Engineering, First Generation, Management, Pre-Health, and Social Sciences. Students apply for the LLC as part of the housing application. Typically, there are two applications for every one available spot in the LLC. Students were notified of their status for the LLC prior to the first orientation. They received the notification in their UT Dallas email. Please note that if a student has roommate requests, we can only place those students together in LLC housing if both students are in the same LLC. There is typically a wait list for LLCs as they are restricted by building space, class sizes, faculty availability, staffing, and incoming freshman enrollment. However, it is not too late for students to be offered a spot in an LLC. When spots become available, they will be offered to the next eligible student on the wait list. A notification will be sent to the eligible student via their UT Dallas email. We often fill open spots through the fall and spring semesters. Each academic advising office has a list of LLC participants and will assist the students in registering for the appropriate coursework. This will occur during orientation. Students can find out about upcoming LLC events through a monthly newsletter that is sent to their UT Dallas email account. Students will also have reminders in their e-learning account. Events can also be found on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Students can reach out to the LLC team through the contact information located on the website at livinglearning.utdallas.edu. Our Residential Life team offers support and resources for residents in a few different ways. Peer advisors, also known as PAs, are UT Dallas student employees who live on campus and provide university housing residents with personal, academic, and housing-related peer support through community building, roommate mediation, and event planning. Residential life coordinators and assistant residential life coordinators are live-on professional staff members who supervise PAs, provide student support, and on-site after-hours emergency response. In order to assist students within a new living environment, each semester PAs conduct one-on-one -on -one meetings with each resident, as well as facilitate roommate agreements to encourage respect and communication. Residential life also provides many student engagement opportunities. This includes opening week events that take place after residents initially move to campus, annual social programming like trunk or treat and crawfish boil, and community competitions and leadership opportunities through the Residential Housing Association and National Residential Hall Honorary. Residential Life also utilizes RoomPact. RoomPact is an online tool that staff and students have access to. 
RoomPact is used to increase communication among residents, share resources, and for residents to complete roommate agreements. For more information about residential life resources, check out our website at reslife.utdallas.edu. Residence hall suites are completely furnished with a twin XL bed and mattress, desk, desk chair, couch, and a built-in area for your TV, mini fridge, and or microwave. Please note that each suite may have only one mini fridge and or microwave in the common area. You will also want to note that the bed provided is a size twin XL. For your safety, we ask that you place a maintenance request to have the bed lofted or lowered. A team will be available on move-in day to help raise and lower the beds. After move-in, maintenance requests will be answered within 24 to 48 hours. Floor plans, including bedroom dimensions, can be found on our website at housing.utdallas.edu. Here are some important items to bring with you on move-in day. Linens, toiletries, and decorations for the bedroom and bathroom. Laundry is at no extra cost and on the first floor of every building. Residents only need to provide the high efficiency laundry detergent and dirty clothes. Certain items are not allowed in the residence halls. The following items are prohibited. Candles, incense, extension cords, power strips linked together, lights with halogen light bulbs, and any items with an open heating source. For example, hot plates and heaters. Command strips and other adhesive materials are not allowed for decorating, but thumbtacks, small pitcher nails, or small screws are permissible for hanging things. Additionally, handguns, firearms, or weapons of any type, as well as explosive flammable or hazardous substances, or any items of a dangerous nature are prohibited. Furry friends are wonderful. However, fish in 20 gallons or less tanks are the only pets allowed. University Housing does accept letter and package mail for residents. If a resident receives a package, they will get an email from University Housing informing them that their package may be picked up at the front desk. Residents will receive their exact addresses with their housing assignments. Please do not have packages sent ahead of your move-in date. University Housing also provides wireless internet through Apogee. Our 100 megabits per second wireless internet is free, but there are other options. Apogee provides 24-hour customer service for technical issues via phone, text, and web chat. If a maintenance issue arises, residents may submit a maintenance request through our online housing portal. Routine requests will be addressed within 24 to 48 hours. If a resident has an emergency work order, it must be reported directly to the front desk by phone or in person. We have a 24-hour on-call emergency staff who can address emergencies at any time. Our housekeeping staff keeps our residential hall common areas very clean, but please note that residents are responsible for cleaning their own suites and bathrooms after moving in. UT Dallas provides reasonable housing accommodations to students with documented disabilities and or medical conditions. To request housing accommodations, visit the Office of Student Accessibility's website at studentaccess.utdallas.edu. Approval by the Office of Student Accessibility does not guarantee housing. Now that we have covered information regarding the housing application, living learning communities, residential life, move-in, and housing operations, we are going to go through some frequently asked questions. How do I confirm that I completed my application? In the housing application, students will be able to see the status on the application summary page if they have completed the online portion. If you cannot see the application summary page or you have further questions, please email housing at utdallas.edu from your UT Dallas email. Due to my transfer or AP credits, I am not considered a first year student. Can I live in Canyon Creek Heights or University Village? 
University housing bases the first year or non first year designation on the high school graduation date, rather than the number of credit hours. If you are graduating in May or June of 2021, you are only eligible to live in University Commons. How do I request a roommate? How do I accept or decline a request I received from a potential roommate? Students can enter the housing application and navigate to the first year roommate groups page. From there, you can manage requests, create roommate groups, or search for roommates. My student was selected for honors and needs to take the honors sections. Are they no longer allowed to participate in the LLC? Students who are selected for honors who live in the LLC may take the honor sections instead of the LLC sections. They are still able to participate in the LLC. My student applied in February and their friend applied in March. My student didn't get in, but their friend did. Why? LLC spots are filled based on date of application per community. Your student may have applied for a community that was already full in February, whereas their friend applied for one that still had an opening. My student wants to live with someone who is not in their LLC. Can they do that? Unfortunately, they cannot. Students in each LLC are required to live with other students participating in that same LLC. And that concludes our university housing orientation session. If you have any questions that were not answered in this presentation, please contact University Housing by phone or email. We look forward to seeing you soon.